Hey, this is just a quick video to show you how to integrate Block Native's Onboard JS into a simple React project. So to get started, we will install BNC Onboard and Web3. While they're installing, we can import the libraries. So import Onboard from BNC Onboard, import Web3 from Web3. And then we can initialize Onboard by calling the Onboard function and passing in an initialization object. So the first parameter we need is a DAP ID. Uh, this is an API key that you can create at account.blocknative.com. Next up is a network ID, and this will be the network that your DAP runs on. So I'm gonna pass in for the Rinkby test network for this demo. And then finally is a subscriptions object, and this allows you to subscribe to state changes within Onboard. So we're gonna pass in a callback for the wallet state, so this callback will get called every time the wallet changes. And so this will allow us to uh, instantiate our Web3 instance once we have the provider. So we'll create a variable for it up here. And then we will assign it to new Web3. And we'll pass in the wallet.provider. And we can throw in a little console log here to see which wallet uh, has been connected. So wallet.name now connected. So that's all we need to do to initialize on board. Uh, next we'll have a function that we can call called login. And when that's called we will call onboard.wallet select and we'll await it because it's an async function. And that will fire the uh, wallet select modal so that a user can select a, a wallet. And finally we'll we'll put a little button in here just called login. And we'll use the onClick handler to fire our login function. So we can have a look what that looks like over here. So the user clicks login, fires this modal, uh, and the user has a selection of wallets that they can pick. Uh, so say they go for MetaMask. You can see MetaMask is now connected and we've instantiated Web3. So the last thing we wanna do after that is we wanna make sure that the user's wallet is ready to transact. So we'll call the wallet check function for that one. And what that does is runs a series of checks uh, to make sure the user is ready to transact. So we can see what that looks like here. So click the login button again, the user selects MetaMask, and you can see that onboard has detected that uh, the user hasn't logged into their MetaMask wallet. So we can go ahead and log in. Onboard automatically detects that state change and moves on to the next part of the sequence, uh, which is the network check. And it can see that we're on Ropston, uh, but the DAP, as we set here with the network ID, is designed to work on Rinkby. So we can go and change that to Rinkby. Onboard automatically detects this and finishes the wallet check function, which means your user is ready to transact. So in a couple of minutes, uh, we've allowed our user to select a wallet, connect it, and get it ready to transact. 